Thank you. Okay, are you ready to study English? Let's get started. Passing voice. This kind of grammar structure can make you confused, but you still have to learn this because this is important. Well, why you? Uh, why should you learn this passive voice? There are times when you don't want to say who or what did the action, uh, or maybe you don't know who did the action. Or actually, the object is more important than the subject. So, you can use passive voice to focus your sentence. Okay, now, take a look at the video that I want to uh, share to you. This is the part of movie from Harry Potter. Okay, please. Cedric Diggory was murdered by Lord Voldemort. I can't let you out, Hedwig. I'm not allowed to use magic outside of school. Hogwarts has been chosen to host a legendary event. What exactly happened to him? He was sent to Azkaban. Don't drink it, Ron. You could pick a spell for that. I don't know what you're talking about. And you will be rewarded. You will have one hour. Okay, did you see the blue words in the video? Yes, it is called passive voice. Okay, hang on. Before we talking about that video, uh, let's take a look at this example first. I was born on I was born on Actually, you already used it uh, when you introduce yourself uh, You always say I was born on rather than my mother born me on, right? Yeah, because you don't want to say who did the action, but you want to emphasize when you was born. Okay? You already used passive voice. Now look at this. She is called Lisa. Yeah, you always say she is called Lisa rather than people call her Lisa. Okay, do you get me? Okay, now look at the other example. The children ate the cake. This is the active sentence. The active sentence is the subject does the action to the object. Okay, so how to change the active sentence to become passive sentence. First, first identify the subject, verb, and the object. The subject here is the children, the verb is eight, and the object is the cake. Okay. Second, you move the object to become the new subject in a passive sentence. The object here, the K, this is now as a subject. After that, conjugate the foot D after the subject. Now that the foot here is simple past tense, right? So, in the simple past tense, the foot D, we can 
use was or were? It depends on the, the new subject. The new subject here is the cake. So we use was, right? We use was. After that, add the past participle of the main verb after the verb be. We know that the verb here is eight. The main verb is it. So the past participle is eaten, right? In the passive sentence, you can remove the thing who or what did the action in the sentence. Or if you want uh, if you want it at the thing did the action so add it in the end of your sentence with by after that write the subject to the new object same as we use it in the perfect tense the be verb followed by the past participle. If we found the verb be followed by the past participle, you have to know this is passive sentence. You get it? Okay, back to the Harry Potter's video that I got you in the first time. Okay. You saw in that video this sentences, right? Yeah. Craig Gregory was smarted by Lord Voldemort. Can you find where is the passive voice? Yeah. Was murdered. Then I'm not allowed to use magic outside of school. Where is the passive voice? I'm not allowed. This one. Hogwarts has been chosen to host a legendary event. Where is the passive voice? Yes. Good. Has been chosen. This one. He was sent to his command. He was sent. He was sent to his command. <laughs> Where is the passive voice? Yeah. Good. He was sent. Correct. Now, you could be. Now, you could be explained for that. You could be explained for that. Where's the passive voice? Could be explained. Good. The last one. Give me Harry Potter and you will be awarded. Where's the passive voice? Yeah. Will be rewarded. Good. These verb be are always that. It help us to describe when something happening. Do you get my point? You are smart. Okay, students. Now there are exercise just um, three numbers of questions of sentences. You have to change the active the active sentences to become passive sentences. Okay, from you, uh, are there volunteer to come forward to answer these three questions, three sentences? Okay, I choose you, you, and you. Please come forward. Okay, 
thank you. Wow. Your friend is so smart, right? Okay. Let's check your friend's work. Someone has stolen my neighbor's car. And your friend? Answer. My neighbor's car has been stolen. Is it correct? Yeah. Here, has stolen is past, is present perfect. Right? So, your friend used has been has because the neighbor's cars, the new subject is neighbor's cars, and be is the verb be. If passive voice, you have to add the verb. And in the perfect, the be verb is been. Correct, right? And stolen is past participle. Because this is, uh, yes, some with stolen in here because. In a perfect, also use present participle. Here, by someone. Yeah, you can add if you want. By someone, but if, uh, if you mind, this is not important. So, you can remove it. Okay. Next, number two. Your house will be clean on Monday. Is it correct? Is it correct? Yeah, correct. Will be is future. Be is verb be from future. Right? Will be. Clean is past participle. And here, your friend did an add I in the passive sentence. Because she might that I is not important. It's not really important for, for her. Now, number three. He built the house for his parents. And your, uh, your friend answer, your friend's answer, the house was built by him for his parents. Was built. Was because the house, right? Built is present participle. And by him, he ate in the in her in his passive in yeah passive sentence yeah like this uh any question from passive voice okay uh i think now you know what is the passive voice you know the structure you know how to change active to passive and you can understand what before what what times that should change from active into passive right okay now i will give you the video and you have to see first after that you make the dialogue you do in pairs okay you can submit your dialogue next week uh, for theme, for the theme, it's all up to you. But I will give you the reference to make you understand how to make the, the dialogue. Okay? This is the video. So, Thursday night, I'll pick you up. Great, I will we'll be picked up by you. Great. So, Thursday night, I'll pick you up. Great, I will we'll be picked up by you. Great. Why are you out here? My computer's been hacked. By who? Why are you out here? My computer's been hacked. By who? Hunter, you do well with the ladies. You know it's been said that I have game. I'm the one who said it, but still. <laughs> Hunter, 
Hunter, you do well with the ladies. You know, it's been said that I have game. I'm the one who said it, but still. <laughs>